Okay, so the most popular sport in Britain is football. It's a sport played mainly by the working class because uh, the higher classes have rugby, but it will be also popular amongst um, the highest society. We know that an avid football player was uh, Tony Blair. Also, David Cameron says that he played a lot of football, so we have a big mixture. Oh, and also, finally, I must say that um, Prince William is the president of the Football Association, so it's a very popular and very important sport for the country. Now, you've probably heard about Wembley Stadium, which is the home of British football, rebuilt in 2007 after many problems because um, they had big building uh, problems uh, with the arch, which covers the stadium. Now, you've all probably heard about Wembley Stadium, which is the home of British football. It was reopened in 2007 after many construction problems uh, that involved uh, problems with the arch, which uh, goes over the stadium. Uh, it started dropping in 2006, so in the year that it was supposed to be open, they had to call in a few thousand builders to help quickly stop the arch f collapsing. An interesting thing in uh, British clubs is the club rivalry. Each fan will associate himself with the club that is closest to him. So if you live, uh, let's say, in Croydon, in London, you will support Crystal Palace, whereas if you live in the West End, you will support West Ham, Shepherds Bush, Queen's Park Rangers. Now, sometimes you have with these rivalries, um, you can find out which religion uh, do most of the fans, of course, because now it's changed, but from which religion does this club come from? For instance, um, you have the red shirt and the blue shirt. Liverpool will play in red because they were founded by Catholics, whereas Everton were playing blue because they were uh, founded by Protestants. In Scotland, it's a bit easier because you have Rangers, which play in blue, so that confirms the fact that they're Protestants, and Celtic, which play in white and um, green hoops. Now, often, of course, in Liverpool or Manchester, where also you have the red and blue teams, it won't be a big problem because uh, the fans tend to have gone away from all the religious items, whereas in Scotland it is still a big battle. You will find out that Rangers hate the Pope, they hate the Catholics. So, for instance, when Pope John Paul II died, then the Rangers fans had big celebrations, because also they beat that day Celtic. So, for the Rangers fans, the death of the Pope, victory over Celtic in one day, was probably the best day of their lives. Of course, there's not only big clubs, there are also the small clubs, which represent maybe local towns and stuff, and the English league system and uh, the Scottish league system, the Welsh league system, they've all got about, probably, Scots have about seven, eight leagues each, and the Welsh have about five leagues, whereas the English have about 20 leagues. So you have actually even teams in small towns which have 200 people, and they will be represented by a football team. So football in England is big, and it's always grown because the FA is trying as hard as they can to make sure that English football will develop.